Hi, my name is Mary Ann Harmer, and I'm with Oregon's Health Co-op. It's one of the 24 funded um, co-ops, health insurance co-ops, um, funded through the Affordable Care Act. I'm also on the board of Coalition for Livable Future. I have a very uh, strong interest in health disparities in particular, so I've been actively involved um, on the um, development of the um, Regional Health Equity Atlas. Well, there's so many factors that um, influence, again, equity. And what are those factors? What are issues around equity? And this will begin to map them by neighborhood so that we can start to look at where we might um, mobilize resources, how we might change strategies. But it really shows the connection and the interrelationships between all of these things, environmental issues, education issues, and then how that impacts as well health and health status. Um, at Oregon's Health Co-op, we are looking at, as we, uh, as members, um, as our members, part of the insurance plan, as they um, engage with us, we will be looking at their health and where they live and they say, you know, the zip code matters. And so we will begin to say, if we have someone, for example, that comes in with high asthma or diabetic, are there other issues that might be impacting their health outside of just access, outside of just, um, you know, their own personal health, um, but looking at the environment and how that impacts their health. I think there's a lot of research that shows the more equitable an area is, the more productive, the more flourishing a community is and the city is. So I think if we can all strive in various ways to identify where there are these pockets of inequity, um, then together the whole, you know, the whole ship rises, that everyone will do better. So I'm hoping that we can use it to strategically look at how we can leverage our resources across the region to address these disparities.